Michael Graup is heading to Madrid. He's Austrian and has been an airline pilot since August. He trained at the Austrian Aviation Academy near Vienna. The school gets some of its funding from the European cohesion policy. For Michael, becoming a pilot was always a childhood dream. Yeah, when I was 14 years old, I was on a flight to Tenerife. During that flight, I was allowed to enter the cockpit. There I saw all the switches, all of this place. And during that time, I noticed that once I want to become a pilot. And so when I was 19 years old, I started my flight training at Aviation Academy Austria. And after two years, I finished it. And half a year after the flight training, I got my first job at Eurowings. So I'm really happy with it. Around 2,400 pilots are trained at the Austrian Aviation Academy each year. 75 instructors work at the school, which has a total budget of 37.7 million euros. Around 2.5 million of that comes from the European Regional Development Fund. Jessica has just begun her basic training at the academy in Wiener Neustadt. Using simulators and small planes, it takes on average two years to train a pilot from scratch. Today we're planning a flight lesson to Pitzerberg. It's to introduce me to grass landing fields, because normally we're landing on concrete runways and now we're trying with grass landing fields. Let's see how the difference is going to be. Pilots are required to continually train throughout their professional career. This is where flight simulators come into play and the academy also trains experienced professionals like Marcus. In eight, nine weeks, he's expected to teach other colleagues how to fly an ATR 72600. We have a very, very tight schedule. Every five minutes we give them another problem, so that on the end of that the nine sessions they have seen all the problems which the authority thinks can occur. The schedule is also tight because an hour of training costs around a thousand euros. Real accidents, or in this case, a forced return to Barcelona, are just some of the scenarios. The main goal is safety. Every six months, every crew member that flies a commercial aircraft has to come back in such a simulator and do a check flight. <laughs> 